this article came out yesterday. I don't know how much impact, like especially this early in the season, one game would make here or there. But if I told you there are five tiers of World Series contenders, what tier would you naturally think the Rangers would be in? Three, yeah. two and a half. You, I need a whole number, please. Three. How many teams are in the first two tiers? One through five. Pick a number. Because if we do it like the five. quarterbacks, we have like one quarterback in tier one, right? So I can't go, oh, they're in tier two if I know there's only like six teams there. Okay, I think I'm, it I think it evens out because there's only two in tier one, but there's nine in tier two. So I think it kind then, of evens Then I would out. say that three right okay. now. Yeah. I'm actually going to switch. I will go because of, for the most part, the, the pitching and mainly the bullpen have been really good. Um, so I would give them tier two. Okay. Just because of DeGrom's not going to have another start like that right now. Right. Um, and he pitches today right here. On yeah. The so you, you'll see that today. He's going to have a big bounce back. Seven innings, eight Ks at least um, is nice. my call. I like it. But I, I would say uh, the bullpen has been so, so good. And I think that is the big key here. And the bats will, they've already shown what they can do. And yeah, they kind of cooled off there for a little bit, but they will they will bounce back, especially right. today again. I want to try this. I will give you the names of each tier and see if that changes your opinion. Tier one, their time is now. Tier two, their time could be now. Hey, okay. what's tier three? <laughs> tier three, we're saying they have a chance. Yes. Oh, dumb and dumb. I, I'm still there. Like, okay. I, because I'm we're we're a couple things away from me still. Okay. Uh, Heaney, like I I want to see better from our fifth pitcher. Sure. Now. Well, That's actually, your fifth starter though. Keep yeah. that in mind. The okay. Fifth starter. Yeah. I want I want now, no hitters from all of them. All right. I love that. If I can counterpoint you, I mean starter. I know it's just one game, but right. your rotation right now for your starters is a six point nine four ERA through the first run. I don't anticipate it saying anything near that, but well, juxtapose that with the bullpen is 0.83, which also is not sustainable. Yeah, not say that way either. But though. yeah, so I, I, I hear you for sure on that. So tier one, only two teams in this tier, Yankees and the Braves. Their time Man. is now. Now tier two, is I mean, one of the Braves' best pitchers. I'm surprised on, it's not the Padres with how much they've invested in Juan Soto as a free agent after this year. I'm just surprised that San Diego's I, I not I think they're there. a tier two for sure. Well, and, see, and they haven't really started very well. And, and that's interesting how much the first four games, five games impacted that because tier two, their time could be now. It goes Toronto and then San Diego. So they still have San Diego as like essentially team number four. And then it goes Houston, St. Louis, Los Angeles, Cleveland, excuse me, the Dodgers, Cleveland, the Mets, the Rays, the Phillies. So this shows you, you know, a lot going into it. And then tier three, we're saying there a chance. There's a chance. Most of you guys were right. Tier three is where they put the Rangers, and the Rangers are in the group with the Mariners, the Twins, the Brewers, the White Sox, and the Marlins. So, not an expansive group right there, and that puts you in the top half of the league. I think the Mariners definitely should be in a Tier 2 because they they have to do it now. They're in that mode now. They've already shown. They went out and spent. They've done what they need to do. Back-to-back 90-win -back seasons. Yeah, they, their time is now. Um, the Rangers, I just, it's because of, I'm, I'm putting them in Tier 2 just because of the first three games. Now, yeah, granted, yeah. these last two, I hear you. I get it. They've been kind of you know, shut down, but I would still, I think they belong in tier two. They, they've made a massive improvement. I think they are on their way of being, being there. That's the only reason why I put them in tier two. I don't think they belong in tier three because I think they're going to be that much better than what they should be. And right now, Kevin's still first place in the division, undefeated on the road. Are they first in the division? I mean, the ESPN has them ranked uh, <laughs> as the best team. They're three and two tied with the Angels, so that's first place for me. Okay. You said uh, they're undefeated on the road, right? Yeah. yeah. They don't have any losses on the road now, anymore. That's you're, why you're, I, was, uh, I like that. I hate I to be good. a wet blanket because I know that's what oh, I, I know do. what you're about to say. Could you argue that. that they have yet to play oh, a game on the road? You could if uh -huh. you wanted blanket? to be uh -huh. a negative cloud of negativity. 
I mean, you've met me. You'd want to be a wet blanket. I don't know why. Like, I always go back to this is the 2005 team uh, for the Astros. Okay. Wendy Rodriguez, Roy Oswalt, Pettit, Clemens, and what Brandon Back was like their other one. I think the next year they had Buckholtz. And like that was for me, that was like, that was elite starting pitching. Mm -hmm. Those teams won 89 and 82 games. Okay. Like that's, I, I know the, like those yeah. are, Clemens was probably at the end of his career I, there. I, but. I always point to 2007, I think my last year in the majors, Cleveland had Cliff Lee and CC Sabathia. <laughs> CC was the best pitcher in all of baseball at the time. Cliff Lee, I believe, won the Cy Young yeah. that year. Because CC got traded to uh, Milwaukee, if I have my years right. So you had those two guys in the same rotation, and they had to trade CC at the All Star yeah. break because yeah. they're like, we're just not good enough to compete because the rest of the team. Now, I will say this my son brought this up yesterday. First of all, it's really fun listening to my son now because he is really following the Rangers at 14 years old and really mad they've lost two games in a row to the Orioles. And I'm like, Jake. The Orioles are a good team. They won 83 games last year. They have a lot yeah. of good young players, but he see, still sees them as a bad team. I think a lot of Ranger fans probably still see that and don't know that they were over 500 last year in a very tough division. But he's like, Dad, if we're not in first place at the end of April, because he goes, do you know how easy their schedule is? And I'm like, Jake, I honestly don't. I don't know all of their games coming up. But they go at the Cubs. Home against Kansas City. Those are two very winnable series yeah. on a piece of paper. Yeah. At Houston, very tough. Then at Kansas City, uh, home against Oakland. At Cincinnati, that almost closes out the month of April. So when you look at six against Kansas point, City, three against the point. Cubs, three against Oakland. In there, yes, you do have three against Houston and four against the Yankees. Those are very tough yeah. series that you have there. But when you just look at it, he's kind of pointing out that Hey, the Rangers, if they're going to be contenders, need to show us at the end of April that they are over 500. I like it. There's 14-year-old Jake Bassick for you. That Well done. That is get really that good analysis right there. Yeah, we have a history of bringing children on the show, so our children on the show, that is. What about other people's children? Uh, I don't know if that would... That feels like that Whose would be child should be on our show in the world? Upon. We had two segments here. Vote. Better segment. Steroid talk or Rangers? <laughs> you know what? I'm I thought telling both you, of them were out of the I'm park. looking at what the fan text said before you called for that vote. I believe <laughs> steroid talk <laughs> might just carry the day.